Let's switch over to the Western Division now. We'll we'll save we'll save the South Division for last since they have the defending champs in there. But uh, West Division, we got the 49ers, we got the Seahawks, we've got the Cardinals, uh, and we have the Rams. Uh, I think this is going to be an interesting division. I think uh, you know with the addition of Matt Stafford, which kind of kind of leverages our previous discussion here about the, the the North Division. I think the Rams with that defense and with the weapons they have on offense. I think the Rams are going to be the team to beat in that division. I think the 49ers are going to are going to take a step backwards, even though they did last year, because, sure. again, they've got the same problem that we just got done talking about. They drafted this dual threat quarterback from North Dakota State, who basically only played two games last year because their season got canceled for COVID. He's only started 17 games in his career, but they traded up to draft him at number two. You got Garoppolo. Uh, That's my point. And you got Garoppolo, who you could argue that Garoppolo, I mean, you can argue that he's he's been a little bit underwhelming uh, and and he probably has. But and he's been hurt a couple of years. But still, the guy did lead them to a Super Bowl. There's not many. We said this before. It's hard to get a quarterback who can lead you to Super Bowl. Garoppolo has done it. I agree. You have him. I, what are you doing? But that's why I think they're going to take a step back. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I think. The, yeah, I think the Cardinals are going to be a pretty good team. You know, I, I, Kyler Murray has shown me that he may not be a guy that's going to win you a Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sold on him. But I think he's going to do pretty well, and yeah. I think I think it's going to be the Cardinals and the Rams. Uh, that are gonna that are gonna vie for that division, and you really can never count out the Seahawks because they do have uh, a pretty good wide receiving core. It's all going to depend on who they get at running back since uh, Carson did leave them, and of course with Russell Wilson, you know he could make anything happen as well. So I'm going to say it's a three team division: Car- uh, Seahawks, Arizona, and the Rams. I think the Rams win the division, and I think Arizona finishes second with the Seahawks either tied with them or right behind them. Okay. Yeah. I- I'm going to say the Cardinals win the division. Okay. I, I, I agree with what you're saying about Murray. Like as much as there's little as respect I have for Russell Wilson and much as I don't like him, like Murray's kind of like that. Like he, he's like a faster version than like of Russell Wilson. Like he makes things happen. Like he, you know, he could throw 30 touchdowns and run for, I, I compare him to Russell Wilson. Whenever Russell Wilson take one, right. And, and uh, they were able to win Super Bowl. So I think it's possible. It's possible. Yeah, so I think they they win the division this year. Um, you know, I think the Rams make the playoffs. You could have a three playoff or three teams make the playoffs in this division. Um, I right. think the Seahawks and the Rams could both make it. Uh, but I'll go with the uh, Rams second. Like it's similar where you said Seahawks third, and uh, yeah, the Forty Nines they took a step back last year, and they take another step back this year. I think that um, they're getting worse, not getting better somehow. Uh, so you know, they, they, I think they win like five to seven games, maybe. Um, Maybe eight. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the West. Uh, yeah, I'm really interested to see the Rams, like you said. I mean, I think since they got the Super Bowl, they they haven't really taken a huge step back since then. I mean, they're always they've, – they've remained they've remained kind of on that edge, I think, since they got yeah. it. They haven't, like, all of a sudden dropped off. And then with Stafford, I just got done saying him and Garfield aren't much different. So I don't know how much, help that's, how much that's going to boost them. But I think it's inter- it will be interesting to see. I mean, there's a chance that Stafford could really give him a new spark, you know, um, their defense is pretty good. That, that defense lineman is he? Is he he's still with Aaron Donald. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, got, he got some trouble in the offseason. I think, but I'll, I'll yeah, it was that was a mistake. He didn't. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, it, it wasn't trouble. It was a mis. Oh, it was you know? okay, or a misunderstanding. Yeah. Okay, so he'll be ready to go. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the Rams win the division. Um, I think the. I like I like the Cardinals finish a close second. I like I like uh, Murray too. Mm-hmm. I know we just got done talking about. I would just compare Murray to Lamar Jackson. Well, in the sense that I think he's I think their skills. I don't think Russell Wilson as as much is as much or was as much of a runner as those two guys in his prime. I think he had a stronger arm and like maybe not stronger, but I think Russell Wilson was a more prolific passer in his prime than Jackson and Murray are. Right, right. Yeah, but uh, you'd have people that argue that he's still in his prime, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think my point is I I I would respect his passing more than these other two guys. Right. But I think Murray also has that one thing that Wilson has that Lamar Jackson doesn't is that like he just finds a way to make things ha- make things happen to win games. Yeah. You know I mean, little, you know what I mean like so I so I think Murray I would put Murray ahead of Lamar Jackson. You know, even though they're similar, I trust him a little more to win games and to, to you know to get things done maybe in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So then I I say Seahawks uh, third and 49ers fourth. Yeah, I like Garoppolo. 
but the four hours don't know if they're coming or going. No. They don't know what they're doing. No, they don't. No. If they would have just trusted, if they trust Garoppolo and they went forward with him, I think they'd be better off. But still, I don't, I don't know what kind of team they have around them. I'm not sure what the Davids is like. I don't know much about them. I know they well, got they, they got both. They got they got uh, Skittles around. Yeah, Skittles. Yeah, but but like well, that's great. Like I mean, you know, you you got a great tight end. Woohoo! You know, right? Uh, so I mean, he's uh, last year's fantasy. Last year's Murray rookie year. Right? Say that again, Murray. Last was, year was Murray's rookie year. Too. No, it was two last year ago, was right? his second year. Yeah. Okay. I think how, 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 how smart is he looking right now? Like he's about to <laughs> be his third year in the NFL, doing great. Right. I mean, he could be on a, a bus in the Texas League right now with <laughs> So you know, great, great call by Murray. I said that at the time, and I think yeah, he did. The right call to. You no, know, it was definitely. And he's got about what sixty million more dollars in his bank account right now. Yeah, and he will right. have even yeah. more after this year. He'll have even more probably. You know, I, I think he wins MVP this year, man. Possible. Yeah. Possible. It's if possible. They, if they win the division, like you say, Joseph, I think he will win. It's possible. It sure is. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, they're a good team. Yeah. So those are my, I think I, I laid it out there. Uh, I think the Cardinals make the playoffs, though. 